battlefield, two armies stood ready. In front of one, a giant of a man paced, calling out the same challenge he had called for several days. Send your best champion to fight me. If he triumphs, we will become your slaves. If I triumph, you will become our slaves, and your lands will be ours. Yet no challenger approached. In the far camp, the king called together his best warriors. Surely one among us is willing and able to take on this champion. We can shorten this battle. There will need be no other bloodshed. And no one stood forth. But a voice from the rear of the line. Who stands against God's army? I will fight him. Pardoned, the king called for the man to be brought forward. But when he was brought forward, it was not a man. It was a youth, a boy. A boy, not a single hair of beard upon him. His voice just changed. You're a boy. I am a shepherd. I have fought animals, killed them when they have stopped my father's flocks. The Lord has protected me from lions and bears. Surely he will protect me from the giant. The king had little choice. So he tried to put his armor on the boy. But the helm was so big he could not see out from under it. The breastplate so heavy he could barely walk under its weight. The boy refused all armor. And the king said, well go. boy bravely strode forward to the front, pausing only to scoop up some smooth stones and put them into the shepherd's pouch. The giant, peering across the field, who is a boy? The best you can do is a boy? Shepherd boy, how do you please to beat me? Are you going to herd me like a sheep? <laughs> you may fight with spear and sword, but I fight with the Lord on my side. The giant was not impressed. He started across the battlefield, closer and closer. From his shepherd's pouch, the boy took a stone and put it in his sling and began to swing it. Closer and closer the giant came. Faster and faster the stone spun. When the giant was exactly where the boy needed him, he let loose one of the strings of the sling. And the stone, the smooth stone, flew straight and true and hit the giant square in the head. And down he fell. And thus, a small stone and faith topple Goliath, champion of the Philistines, the faith of a boy, of a shepherd boy, of David, the future king.